So Jerry Dugan and Scott Cobblish have a book called Giant Cockatoo Number Two. Oh my God, I forgot about this. Yes, 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 yes. yes. <laughs> Look, I'm going to tell you right now. If I recommend something on the show, chances are it's going to be left at least off-center in a little while. That's exactly what this that. book is. This is about a giant horny kaiju that may be the result of Earth's neglect toward the environment. <laughs> I want to know how that, that outcome, why that made that outcome, but I'm not mad at it. I mean, I've only seen one issue. I've only read the first issue. Issue two is out this week, but that is what is largely implied in the first issue. I have some follow-up questions about the horny kaiju part, which mm -hmm. is like, what do you do about that? You gotta find another kaiju. Uh, that's also fair. <laughs> or the kaiju could just like copulate with city buildings and relieve itself on the street, which is what happens in issue one. <laughs> Incredibles! <laughs> um, uh, somewhere in here is a cautionary tale about pollution, <laughs> but it's really okay. a ve vehicle to be absurd and yes. hilarious and gross. And we all need that from time to time. If you're in the mood for some crude humor and monsters, it is hilarious, and it's three in a three-issue series. Number two is out today from Image Comics. Uh, not for the faint of heart, but definitely for the for the blackest of souls. <laughs> Go check it out.